four tips for editing photos in Lightroom, so stick around. What's going on everybody, Claudio here and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for stopping by. If you are a returning guest, thank you as well. Today I'm gonna to walk you through four tips for editing photos in the Lightroom app. Now, if you're not familiar with Lightroom, it is a very robust app. Now, I'm using the Creative Cloud version, which you can use on your Android, on an iPad, on an iPhone, on the desktop Mac Windows. You could also use it on a Chromebook. I haven't actually tried it, but there is a web version as well. So you can edit your photos using just a browser. So great app, it syncs all together. So go check it out, go download it. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. So this is Lightroom on my computer here. I've launched the application. Now I use Lightroom pretty much 90% of the time for editing photos and getting them on social as fast as I can. Now, I do use Photoshop. I use that a lot for some of photo manipulation and things like that. Just a little more powerful for doing stuff like that. Now, as far as Lightroom, it's a great, great app. It's, I'm gonna just keep saying, it's a great app. Now, I'm gonna share with you a quick edit here that I'm going to walk you through now, the four tips here. And I'm going to be using this photo. I actually shot this down in Waco, this is at the Magnolia Market. This is an old church that was moved there. When I walked in, it was great, just the the, the space, and I was crawling on the ground here to take the shot. People are probably looking at me, the weirdo, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do for the shot. So let's go ahead and open up the editing options here. The first tip here is cropping or, or making it level. So that's kind of like the first tip. And right here, there is an option for cropping. Now, as you can see, the chandeliers are kind of pretty much centered, but I've got a little more space on the right side right here as compared to the left side. So you can pretty much use the original aspect ratio. Now, if you're going to be sharing this on social, um, you know, you wanna make sure and use kind of like the nine by 16 if it's gonna be a story. So you have the options here. I'm just gonna go ahead and just go as shot. Now, what will happen is when I crop in or I resize, see how it stays proportionally the same. And what I wanna do is kinda of get it centered. So if you see up there on the upper right, this beam right here, I wanted to kinda of make the even space as I have over here. Um, now, over here on the left side, there's a little bit of, uh, what'd you say, I don't know, this wood structure here. So I actually may bring it in some more. So it's kind of even up there at the top. So it's okay if that, let's see, let's try that right there. That looks pretty, pretty close right there. So I'll go ahead and do that and I'll hit enter. And now I'm cropped. Now that I've cropped the image, the next thing I'll do is adjust the lighting in the room. So the midtones, the shadows and the highlights. I'm going to be using the tone curve. So right here, if I click in the middle, you see right there, it says right here at the bottom if you notice when I click there or move up here there's your highlights light darks shadows so if I click right here for the mid tones and I kind of adjust notice what it does to the picture I'm going to bring that maybe up a little bit and then the highlights and maybe adjust them down a bit I kind of like the way that light comes in through the window so if I bring it down too much it kind of goes away maybe just slightly bring it down let's see what we do to the darks i'm gonna bring the darks down a bit i i like the tone of the wood there i'm gonna bring that down and also the flooring i want the flooring to really be noticeable all right so let's see shadows right down just a little more and maybe take the highlights up a bit all right that's pretty good so that's kind of the second tip so now Let's play with the exposure a little bit. So let me just touch up the exposure a bit. Let's see here. Just slightly, a little, a little bit. And let's see, contrast, maybe give it a little more contrast, make that grain pop. And then I won't touch the shadows and stuff because I've already worked with that. Um, so, all right, so that is tip number three so now let's i'm sorry yeah tip number three so now the next tip the last one is to play with the color 
on this photo. So let's go ahead and scroll down here. And we can see here is the color. And now there's the white. There's a little bit of yellow kind of showing up there right here where those beams are. And I kind of want to remove that yellow, yellowish tone. Lightroom added a new feature, which is color grading here. So you can use that as well as your color mixer. So whichever one works for you, I'll, I kind of alternate between the two, just depending on the photo. And so right here, if you see the kind of the orange and yellow are shown. So if I bring that orange saturation down a bit, so that yellowish tone kind of goes away. I don't want to bring it down too much because I want to give the wood still have a little bit of color in there. So not too much. Let's bring down the yellow. There we go. So notice how they see there's a lot of yellow there. So if I bring down that yellow, so that's a lot more white. All right. So now um, that's pretty much it. Those four tips. Now I may, I'm going to add a little extra here and that is down here in effects. I like this, especially for like uh, structures like this, but I even use it for photos of individuals. Just not, just not too much when I have a subject like a person, but when I have things like architecture or buildings i like bringing that texture up because it kind of accentuates the angles um the grain like right here in the wood and the backdrop and let's see let's bring up the clarity a little bit yeah that that looks pretty cool right there and i may have to go up to saturation just a little bit bring that down yeah almost like for a magazine huh. and those are just quick four tips for editing photos in lightroom there's so much more but I think I'm gonna do some other videos for that. So keep checking out this channel for more videos. Now, the next thing I wanna do here is actually get this out and share it with others. So uh, one of the quick things that I like doing, just right clicking on the photo and it says right here, export photo. And you can just go to large or small, depending on where you're sharing. I usually like exporting large so it gets the, the full resolution. And then whenever I upload it to social, you know, they always compress it. So I would say export high because it's always going to be compressed. So let's go ahead and do that. So here's the before and after version of this photo. Again, all done in Lightroom. And those are four quick tips for editing photos in Lightroom. So go download the app right now and give it a shot. If you have any comments or questions about this video, please do leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, click on the bell to be notified for future videos just like this one and please do share with your friends. Thank you for stopping by, and as always, be good to one another. Peace. I'm out.